Hey, it's Tommy, and have you ever known it's time to make a bold, inspiring decision towards your dreams, but you're full of fear, you're full of doubt, you're full of uncertainty? Listen, we've all been there. And these are the moments that your life can either radically change for the better, that you can bring your mountain top down here, or you can stay stuck and spinning your wheels. And make no mistake, at the end of the day, your life, my life, is a compilation and a compounding of all of our decisions. So in this video, stay tuned, because I'm gonna reveal the five ways, real world proven ways, that you can make bold decisions every single day and take the vision that's out there on the mountaintops and make it real today. So let's get into it. Pain is a gift. Sky's the limit. Okay, so the first way to make a bold decision and start to bring your vision down here is really, really simple and it's to do exactly that. So here's what I teach and coach people in my programs, my masterminds, my podcasts, and things like this. Here's what I say, I say, go to the version of yourself that's three or five or even 10 years down the line, just go to that place, whatever feels most comfortable to you in that place, and you've accomplished everything that you wanted to create. You're living the vision that you once set in the way that you feel internally and the results that you've created in your day-to-day -day life. Just go to that place. Now, you have to do this with deep intention. You can't just be, you know, half-ass this and expect the results. So again, you gotta go deep on this. Okay, so you go deep on this and you just ask a simple question. You ask your future self for guidance. You say, okay, based on the version of myself that's already accomplished all of my dreams and all my visions, what would he or what would she do in the same circumstance? What is the choice that they would make? Now here's the powerful part about this. When you do this so often, the decision that seems daunting, bold, hard, difficult, pit of your stomach today, to the version of yourself that's accomplished everything that you wanted to create, it's kind of like a no-brainer. I know for me, the, the Tommy 10 years down the line, he's always like, dude, what are you waiting for? Go. You seriously asking me this? Go, do it now. Yes, yes, yes. They're almost kind of flipping about it. They're like, what are you waiting for? And that's how we make what today seems like a really tough decision. We bring it down based on our future self and we say, yeah, I'm gonna step into that. Yeah, it might be scary, it might be hard, there might be some fear and some uncertainty, but I'm gonna step into that. Why? Because that's what was required for me to get to the vision. And the second big piece of this is that by doing that, you don't wait, you don't create space, time, and distance between who you are today and the person that you're becoming. You don't create space, time, and distance. What do you do? If this is you today, and this is you living your vision, you compress and collapse the time to start living that today. And too often when people have visions, they never collapse the time. The distance just becomes larger and larger and larger. So that's number one. Ask the future version of yourself, three, five, or 10 years down the line, what would they do? And even if it's hard, even if it doesn't make sense, even if it's difficult, do that with your next bold decision. Okay, so the second way to make a bold decision, this is one of my favorites. I wrote about this in my book, The Leap of Your Life. This is the book, you can grab it in the links. It's called reverse visualization. Now, a lot of people don't talk about this, and it's one of my favorite techniques that I've ever done, and here's how it works. It's really simple. You've heard of visualization for success, which is kind of what we did in the first one about making a bold decision about your future self, but this is the opposite. So take that bold decision that you're contemplating right now, the one that gives you fear and doubt and uncertainty, and you know is for you, you know it's the right time, but still, your identity and your ego are trying to hold you back. Take that and sit with it. The thing that needs to change today, the boss and then the job that you need to leave, the relationship that you've held on for too long, the environment that's just sucking your soul and your spirit, whatever that circumstance is, whatever you need to change, whatever you're compelled to change, whether you're running away from something or creating something new or being pulled by a vision, whatever that is, you know it's time. Take a moment, you close your eyes, you take yourself three years down the line, you take yourself five years down the line, and it didn't happen. You didn't do it. You had a window of opportunity and you missed your shot. And go deep on this. Go in your day to day, wake up, look in the mirror, take a shower, look again in the mirror. Go into your day by day and feel that pain of regret. Feel that heaviness in your body language, the heaviness in your energy. Feel how it affects the relationship with the people around you, the relationship with yourself, the inner critic, the self-talk. And just go through every part of your day feeling, knowing that you had a shot, that you had a shot three or five years ago, which would be today, 
choose something new, to choose something bold, to make a move that was aligned deep within your spirit and you did not do it. Whether that decision was to hire somebody, or it was to expand, was it to launch, was it to move to a new city, was it to take the trip, ask them out, it doesn't matter what it was. What matters is that it mattered to you and you missed your window. And there's nothing worse than living with this feeling of regret and this feeling of what could have been. And this is the power of reverse visualization. I use this all the time to make bold decisions, you know, knowing that if I don't make the move, what's that gonna feel like? Because we don't conveniently forget these things. And worst of all, we don't know what different decisions and different paths and different bold moves and how they lead to radically different lives, to meeting the people that you're supposed to meet, to being in the places and the rooms that you're supposed to be in. So that's number two, reverse visualization. Feel the heaviness of regret, the long exhales, the sleepless nights, and make that bold decision today. Hey guys, it's Tommy, and so really, the next place to make powerful decisions from is really one place, and it's, it's right here. And yes, I'm pointing to my heart, and listen, we make so many decisions in our head, we overthink things, we do paralysis analysis, and for me, intuition has been the greatest gift, tapping into my intuition, helping others tap into their intuition, helping people like you tap into their true intuition. What does this mean? It means that so often, we seek externally answers for the things that we already know what to do. Deep down, you know, people will come to me, Tommy, I need clarity about this, I need clarity about that, and I say, no you don't. I don't believe that, you gotta release the noise. And so my challenge for you, the third place to make powerful decisions from, is a deep level of intuition. What Emerson called the blessed impulse. The part of you that has a, a reservoir of wisdom just waiting to be unleashed and released on the world. But you gotta have self-trust, you gotta have self-reliance like Emerson said. And you gotta cultivate practices, I've done videos on this, practices of creating space to tap into your intuition because your intuition is a 5G connection. It's not a dial-up connection, you gotta work on that. So making heart-centered, intuitive-based decisions is gonna transform your game and transform your life. So the next place to make powerful, bold decisions from is from a state of complete and utter Abundance. Now so often we make decisions rooted in scarcity, rooted in fear, rooted in worst case scenarios. And the thing is, we always have a choice. We have the choice of abundance, we have the choice of scarcity. And you know what's crazy is, it's completely binary. We can't make a choice with 75% abundance or 92% abundance. If it is, it means that we still are operating in scarcity and two things cannot occupy the same time and space. So all that means is when you make decisions based of scarcity or just a little bit of abundance, you're just gonna be attracting more scarcity. You're gonna attract more chaos. You're gonna attract more uncertainty. When you choose abundance, no decision is the wrong decision. When you choose abundance, no decision is one that you're gonna look back and say, well, could have been. Why? Because you owned your power. You own the state. You owned your abundance in the moment and you chose abundance. And really what separates the masters from the amateurs is that they, the, the amateurs choose abundance when it's convenient to choose abundance. The master, he or she chooses abundance when it's very inconvenient or when their circumstances are showing scarcity, but they rise above and they choose abundance. So as you go on, just ask yourself, am I making this next decision from picking a restaurant to a hotel, to a relationship, to uh, having a conversation or not? Am I picking this based on scarcity or based on abundance? That's it, simple. It's a yes or no, it's binary. You can't pick three, you pick one or you pick the other. The last place to make powerful, bold decisions is, is more of a in the trenches tactic. And it's really more about what not to do. And I always advise people, be careful when. The timing that you make bold decisions matters much more than people tend to believe. What I mean by that is that when our willpower is low or we're physically, mentally, emotionally exhausted, we are not capable of thinking in possibility above and beyond transcending how we feel in that moment. And I know you understand this. After a long day where you've made thousands of decisions, micro decisions, medium decisions, career decisions, you get home and, and it's just so much easier to cave to cravings, it's so much easier to cave to gossip, it's so much easier to cave to mindless social media scrolling. So really the last one is to make sure that you protect your energy and sometimes tomorrow is a better moment to make the decision. Meaning that if you're feeling scattered and your environment isn't helping you, 
and you're physically and mentally spent, you're much better off putting the decision off. And, and this can be dangerous because you don't want to put it off. But when your highest peak energy, when you're most clear cognitively, and for nearly everyone, this is going to be those morning hours, protect your energy when you're making bold decisions and, and just be aware of the energy around it. And if you find yourself going down a path of impossibility and negativity, stop, just take a time out and say, you know what, I'm not going to make this decision right now. It's not the time for the bold move and the bold decision because I'm not thinking impossibility. And I just need some sleep and I need some rest and a meditation and maybe some journaling and a walk to disconnect off media and stuff like that. But that's really the last one to make sure that energy around your bold decision is protected and it's conducive for you to make the best possible decision. And you might be in a, in a, in a clear state and, and, and choose the decision that you didn't think you were gonna choose, but because you transcended the way that you felt, you stepped into it powerfully and, and that's the game changer. So in knowing that I wanna hear from you, what did you get from this video? Make sure to subscribe first of all, if you resonated with this content and you want more, also grab my audio training experience over at resistaveragecademy.com. This is an integration experience, my proprietary method to create your vision and reverse engineer your success. And I created this for people who are used to setting big visions, but they don't see enough momentum and results uh, to bring those visions to life. So if that's you, grab that now. That's gonna shift your game. So I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did making them. By the way, you got to see some international sites here. Um, right now I'm in Ibiza, Spain. Uh, shot the last part of this video, but I wanna say thank you. My question for you is, where are you making decisions from? How can you use these tools? Because like I said, at the intro of the video early on, your life, my life, our, our trajectories are nothing but countless decisions compounded over time, over energy, over days, weeks, months, years, decades, etc., etc., that lead to vastly different places in this beautiful world.